my goodness sakes, Lord have mercy. Howdy folks, howdy, Sean Brock here with you. Subscribe, please, please subscribe, I'm begging you, sweetheart. We got another treat today coming to us from the old master, the guitar guru, the mayor, that ample being from Rugby, Virginia, Mr. Wayne Henderson. This is a 1996 serial number 173 D18. It's the second of Wayne's uh, 18s that has been my privilege to have on the channel. And the third overall, we had a very nice Brazilian 42 that I believe was from about uh, 2005, long, long about. Then we've got another one today from the Old Master, and this one is under the ownership of Dale Owen. I'm talking to you, Dale Owen. That's a man right there. If you see that description box, he is doing some updates to his web page. He's got a blog uh, set up on there now, so you can subscribe to him after you're done subscribing to me, or after subscribe to me after you're done subscribing to him. Square root it. But you can subscribe over there, and you can get all the guitars that Dale's got coming in. And, man, he's, I mean, well, he had a 45 uh, D28. He had a Lucas Kenny Smith model D18. Oh, goodness, we've got a 53 D28 that was his personal guitar that we're going to have a video of. He held on to that thing for about a year. He liked it so much. And a whole bunch more. And he's running that huge 4th of July sale. So click on over there and uh, see what all he's got. If there's something you like, uh, you can call him, you can text him, you can email him, all that fine stuff. He'll put it right in your home. He's got that seven-day trial. He likes for me to remind you of that. And this, if you want a good one in your home, well, here's a, a prime candidate. We'll talk about the specs here in just a minute. But... Let's take a little bit more of a listen to uh, Henderson number 173 from 1996. balancing. sweet the trebles are man all of Wayne's guitars something that I've noticed down through the years when I've had the uh, pleasure of playing them they always have a really it doesn't matter what kind of top wood he uses it doesn't matter about the back and sides they always have a nice sweet treble <laughs>
You like that, don't you? <laughs> you know, that's the best thing about a piano, being able to do a good glissando. You know you got a good playing guitar when, <laughs> when you can do good glissandos too, especially with chords. <laughs> You know, you got to have the action down there. You've had enough of that, ain't you? Sorry. Dog. <laughs> I'll be doing this all day. <laughs> oh, man. What a guitar. What a guitar. It's, um, I got to say, this is a biased remark. Well, I've got, I've got my one and three quarter capo here. I got that Brad McTaggart. Um. Twist. Elliot Twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. But I've got to say, getting back on point again, um, something you can always tell, it seems to me, pop my thumbs, you can always tell when you're playing a guitar that was made by someone who also plays the guitar. There's just something about that. I mean, I don't know what it is, but, you know, Wayne's a, Wayne's a really, really good picker. And of course, his knowledge of of guitars uh, surpasses about uh, uh, just almost <laughs> almost anybody. He knows a lot, man. He's he's built a lot of guitars and played a lot of guitars and studied a lot of guitars. Key of A. This guitar really, it sounds so good open, but man, I messed around on you. I capoed it up earlier, so I didn't, I already know the, uh, I've charted the waters that we're, that we're getting ready to plod into, and this guitar it sounds really good open, but man, it, it has a slap to it when you capo it, just a real, kind of an explosive kind of quality to it, B flat. <laughs>
I mean? Do you see? Do you hear what I mean? You can't see what I mean. We're talking about sound. But uh, it just and and the key of B. The farther you take this thing up, it uh, it just becomes more explosive. <laughs> see there. Pretty, pretty. And them fat trebles and the top four strings being more having having that attack that they have really makes for a well recording and well rounded experience if you're into that kind of thing. I mean if you want if you want a guitar that sounds like dog do, you can go somewhere else. That or I'll build you one. Take your pick. Key of C here. guitar makes you it's kind of like a car that makes you want to drive fast it, it makes you want to take chances and some of them work out you know? <laughs> and sometimes they don't uh, check the colors on this well with a very subtle touch I mean you can you can beat the tar out of it if you want to if you want a little more uh, percussive quality uh, or if you uh, if you have a lighter touch this thing goes right with you so I'm going to tell you what I know which as usual why do I do this that's so ain't much um, okay so uh, Sitka Spruce. I didn't want to tell you that right up front because you said, the guitarists just don't sound right. It must have made out of Adirondack. 
Um, Sitka spruce is what we have been hearing. I have known a couple of people that said that their favorite Henderson guitar was a Sitka guitar, and uh, I can see why, you know. I, well, I can hear why. 18 style appointments. Uh, drop in uh, saddle there. The uh, bridge was re-glued at some point in its life. You can kind of see some evidence. Sorry, I don't mean to be, be pointing with my middle finger. It was just the, that's my longest finger. I'll, I'll change that. Um, you can kind of see some evidence there around the base side uh, on either side of the bridge that it was re-glued. Um, uh, handmade pick guard Wayne made this beautiful I like it man I dig it I really dig it and the pick guard looks under the finish there um, I haven't noticed anything in the signs of in the way of the of being a crack real nice mahogany you know this is this guitar has been played um, there's there's a little evidence on the sides and on the back and on the top and on the neck and on the headstock Real nice mahogany, uh, mahogany neck, strap button installed. Um, uh, Grovers on this, tuners, closed back. One and 11 sixteenths nut uh, V. This is a not a hard, hard V, but you can definitely see the V in the neck. Uh, 111 sixteenths, I believe I said. Um, two and an eighth at the bridge. That's only a slight reason I'm messing up, you know, because I got these, you know, my guitars are, are wide space, wider space. The other reason I'm messing up is because that's what I do. Um, there's some, oh, <laughs> yeah, so check this out. I done told you about the Sitka top. And this is why I don't tell you things, uh, a lot of things before I play the guitar, is because, uh, believe it or not, regardless to popular internet folklore, uh, our ear should be the judge on what we perceive. I'm going to tell you another thing about this now that I've told you it was Sitka bracing. Uh, the other interesting thing about it is this is a rear shifted scallop guitar so kind of a nod to uh, uh, you know uh, 39 or, or something along in that area uh, d18 that's what this is giving a nod to oh ivory ivory nut and saddle I think those are original too um, you know scrapes bumps dings dang you know, all that stuff um, frets look good frets look good the setup is very low this is very very playable um, there's a lot of saddle in here there's a whole lot of saddle uh, you're not going to have to worry about getting a neck set anytime soon and uh, you know the relief's good uh, I didn't measure it but it's probably right around four thousands on the relief might be might even actually I'd say it's probably closer to three um, plays low. If I, if I really dig in. But if you like a comfortable action, um, this is, this is probably where I would leave it. You could, uh, Obviously, it's it's even easier with this drop-in saddle. You could throw you a little bit higher saddle in there if you if you um, like the action a little higher. But I mean, if you like to do trills, if you play a lot of stuff that's just left-handed.
then uh, you can do that on this. It's the nut as uh, slots are low, but not too low. Big sound, balanced. And uh, like I say, if you're interested in this, see the description box. Talk to Dale Owen. Uh, if if it's a little above your means on it, check out his other inventory. He's got some great stuff. And like I say, there's that 4th of July sale going. Now, this ain't going to last forever, this sale. But you heard it here first that it's a going on. It is a happening. And you can check out that link and uh, contact Dale if you got any questions about this one or any other. I appreciate y'all.